Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Brown Dust 2 video. Now, uh, I have been working on some guides on Brown Dust 2 for a little bit, but while I was working on some of the guides, I noticed that I came across some very crucial uh, important things that players might need to know ASAP. Alright, so I'm not sure when I'll be able to complete my full beginner's guide that's going to be a very very long video so make sure you guys are subscribed and also turn on the notifications so when that video release you will also be able to uh, watch that and you know get notified when that video comes out but for now in this particular video we're going to be focusing on mistakes that you want to avoid ideally because i know a lot of you guys probably just started brown dust 2 recently and i want to try to as a day one player i want to try to uh, give you guys the best advice possible to try to avoid a lot of these mistakes all right very very important especially uh, some of these mistakes can be more costly than others uh, some of these personally i learned it the hard way so hopefully i'll be able to you know shed some light into some of these things uh, per se now first things first, let's talk about the first one, 1000 gems. Now what is this all about? This is going to be uh, very straightforward. Uh, some of you guys might already know this, but you always want to have 1000 gems saved. Alright, so why is this important? Now the reason why this is important is because uh, if you guys are not aware, Brown Dust 2 has a very unique system in which it has a very unique battle pass. Alright, so if you go here, uh, I'm not sure what it's called. It's not really called battle pass, alright, it's called... Uh, passes and you can see in Brown Dust 2 there's multiple different passes some are completely free like this one right now we have this uh, Celia pass right now which you are able to obtain uh, a free costume for her like literally a free character right and then if you complete this one you'll be getting this particular one the Curse Celia all right very straightforward you'll be getting a one copy of this particular one and then there's also this gear pass which occurs every single uh, every single event right you gotta try to do all of this now this one it's not as important if you uh, miss out on this, it's not that big of a deal, but it does give you a lot of these materials that can be used every single day. Now the one you have to pay attention to is the event pass, uh, or the season pass rather. Alright, uh, right now we have a special event pass going on because we are still on the half anniversary. This one already completed, uh, as you can see, you do get one more character right here. You get the stray cat roll. But the season pass is where it's at. All right, for a lot of players, this is going to be very, very important. You want to always have 1,000 gems because when you uh, buy this pass, right, you're able to purchase this uh, in the game as a free-to-play. And this is going to be very, very worth it in case you guys are wondering. So every time you purchase this pass, I haven't bought mine because I want to show it to you guys. Notice you will also increase your level by 3. Your pass level is going to get increased by 3. 1,000 gems, you'll be getting... All of these, uh, you get 5 tickets here, right? You get another 5 tickets here. So that's 10 tickets, which is 10 pulls, which is worth 2,000 gems in the game, right? So uh, again, very, very worth it. The, the value is already there. Alongside with that, you get plenty of other things as well, which is an insane value. So uh, I do see some players make this mistake. They go and constantly pull for the characters, right? They go to the draw. They will be like, okay, I want this character. I want that character. And they pull, 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 pull until they have like 500 gems, which you never want to do. All right, never put yourself in that situation. Always have 1,000 gems saved, very important, so that you always buy the pass. All right, so Brown Dust 2, uh, the pass is always a must buy. Always have that, free to play or not, you gotta have that. All right, let's talk about the next point in line is going to be the Powder of Hope. Now, this is very, very important. Now, pulling for characters is one thing, all right? But also, you need to be aware that which character will be added to the Powder of Hope. So, for example, right now, as of the time of me recording this video, we do have this character called uh, Anti-Dystopia Diana. She is not a limited character, all right? So, uh, and then we have the b rank Idol Helena. She is also not a limited character. Now, these two are not limited. So, not limit, non-limited characters means that they will be added to the Powder of Hope shop after the banner ends. Now, what the heck is the Powder of Hope? Now, Powder of Hope are these things right here, right? As you can see, uh, you have the possession. So, every time you do gacha or you do pulls, it will give you one Powder of Hope. Basically, you can exchange uh, if you want to. But if you don't exchange them, right, you can see this draw point right here. If you don't exchange them after the banner disappears, they will just be converted to the Powder of Hope in your inventory. So, uh, you can see Celia is a different character right here. She is going to be a limited character, right? So, if you notice right here, you can see this particular tag here, Limited Costume. Now, limited characters or limited costumes will not be added to the Powder of Hope shop after the banner ends. Alright, that's something that you want to keep in mind. So, let's go to the shop. 
and talk a little bit more about this. So we go to the shop here, uh, go to the second one, there's the golden thread section, and then there's the powder of hope section. So notice our current powder of hope section, we have B rank idol Seer, alright, we have uh, B rank idol Eliana, alright, we have homunculus Lethal, we also have um, anonymous Sage Nautus. I mean, obviously, if you want to, you can buy any of these characters. Uh, this is what makes Brown Dust 2 extremely free to play as well. You ideally, uh, this is like another different type of current CPT altogether, which allows you to obtain almost every single character, at least one copy of them. Uh, easily, if you are just a collector, you just want to straight up collect the characters, you can easily do this. So make sure you guys plan in accordance to your Powder of Hope. Very, very important. So what you want to do is, some of these characters, you should never plus 5 them, especially if you're pulling for multiple copies. For example, let's say you're pulling for Diana, right? So let me just uh, consume my free pulls. Uh, let's say you pull for Diana, you should only get her up to plus 4. Alright, or plus 3 depending, right? Uh, and then you shouldn't plus 5 them just by pulling because, you know, I, I feel like that's a waste. You will be able to get them max at the Powder of Hope. Now, unless you're trying to go for specifically this particular uh, event where there's like a return pickup mission that they can give you back the materials, right? If you go plus 5 here, right? You will be able to get all of these tickets back. You get 10 tickets back per copy that you get. And then at the last one, you get a 20 of these Ancient Crystals. Now, if you want that thing specifically, sure, go for it, right? Because after the character, the banner ends, they'll be added to the Powder of Hope Shop. This thing is no longer going to be there. So if you are pulling specifically for this, then yes, go for it. But in most cases, um, if you are a free-to-play player, try to plan in accordance to the Powder of Hope, Diana, and... Um, what's her name again? Uh, B Idol Rank Helena will be there later on. Okay, so that's very, very important. Uh, try to refer to the patch notes. Usually, they'll be mentioning it uh, in the official website somewhere. So the next point is going to be about scrolls. Now, a lot of you guys are probably not super familiar with scrolls and how it works. So let me talk a little bit about scrolls, right? If you go to every single uh, town, for example, let me just uh, grab all of these first. Oh, I got four ancient crystals. So if I go to this town, every single town have the pub or the tavern, uh, talking about the main story, right? where you can recruit characters. You can see right now Jaden is available for me to recruit and then I have Alec for me to recruit, right? So not bad. So by how do you recruit them? You need to use scrolls. Um, recruit, you can see for the 4 star characters, you're going to use the the golden looking scroll, right? For 3 star character, you're going to use the white looking scrolls and for the uh, 5 star characters, you're going to use the rainbow looking scrolls. Uh, when I say rainbow, you can see it's like this color, right? So yeah, these are going to be very, very important. Now, I've made a video talking about this, but I figured this is very important, so I want to talk about it again, uh, because there are some new players that might not be aware of how to convert scrolls. Now, scrolls can be converted into the higher ranks. It's the only thing in this game that uh, has the ability to be converted to the higher ones. So if you see any 3-star or 4-star characters, right, and you're looking to, okay, should I use my scrolls or not? Um, and... Or if you run out of 5-star scrolls, you can always convert the, the lower rarity to the higher ones in the shop. So you go right here in the shop, go to this particular section, as you can see. Uh, I don't think my face cam is blocking, but let me try and move it down a little bit. So you guys can see more clearer. Okay, so right now you can see I got 93 of the grey scrolls, uh, the 3-star scrolls, 6 of the 4-star scrolls, and I got... Uh, I think I have a few of the 5 star scrolls, right? But you can come here and convert, right? You can buy this. You know, 10 of that will convert to 1 of this. So 10 3 star scrolls will convert to 1 4 star scroll. 10 4 star scroll will convert to 1 5 star scroll, aka rainbow scroll. So if you're trying to, you know, get a lot of this, uh, I think they added this quality of life. Before this, you can't really do this. So yeah, this is a good quality of life. So now I can get 1 5 star scroll extra. So I got 3 4-star scroll right here and 23 of that 3-star scroll. So you can convert scrolls to the higher uh, rarity ones. So this is uh, going to be very important, especially if you're a new player, you're trying to recruit a lot of characters, especially plenty of characters, for example, Diana, Austin, Rao, you're trying to recruit them, Leatrice as well, right? Uh, from the pub later on, you will need all of these scrolls, so make sure you guys are aware of that. Now, the next one that I'm going to be talking about this one, I see a lot of players making mistakes off. So I want you guys to avoid making these mistakes. Uh, this is going to be talking about rank up stars. Now, what the heck is rank up stars, right? I'm sure you guys are aware. When you're build, you building your character, your character is going to enter 
uh, multiple different phases. All right, so from level one to level twenty, once you reach level twenty, you can basically rank them up using one rank ups. One, one star rank up star. Wait, one star rank up. One star rank up star. Yes, <laughs> uh, it's a bit confusing. So yeah, once they are level twenty, then you can level them up again to level forty. At level forty, then you need two rank up, two star rank up star. Right, two star rank up, two two star rank up star. And then you level them up from forty to sixty. At at level sixty, now there's a stopping point, and then you need a three three star rank up stars. And then after that, from 60 to 80, every 20 levels, basically, you have to use a, a rank up style of the highest rarity. The highest one is at level 80, right? Level 80 onwards, you will need four of these. Four of the four star rank up stars, which is a lot, all right? So the, the four star rank up stars are probably going to be where some of you guys might struggle. This is where some of you guys might not be able to obtain enough free ones, and you might need to buy this from the shop. Now... This is where I see a lot of people making this mistake. Please avoid this mistake. I st Man, this mistake is very, very costly. I see that it hurts my soul, even though it's not my account. But it just hurts my soul as a fellow Brown Dust player. Um, shop, right here. Alright. This one right here. Do not, please, please, don't come here and buy rank up stars from here. Don't do this. You see these rank up stars here? Do not buy this. Please don't buy it from this shop, alright? The only place that you should be buying rank up stars, which we're going to talk about uh, shortly, um, you should be buying everything else. Draw tickets. Yes, worth it. Draw tickets. Always worth it. Um, uh, buy the draw tickets. You know, you want to buy the, uh, the ancient crystals. Uh, this one, not worth it. All right. People have been asking me, is this worth it? It says that you can get three to five star UR exclusive gear. But the truth is, um, this thing, I think it's mentioned here in the probability. It's not 100%. Oh yeah, right here. You can see, right? 5 star exclusive gear is 15% chance. It's really, really low. Unless you just love to gamble. But ideally, these two, not worth it. Don't buy the slimes. Do not buy the rank up stars. Do not buy the ability books as well. So the only thing that you want to buy buying is the draw tickets, okay? Right? And you should be getting the character. If it's that there's a character there you want to get the dupes off, please get the character. Now, as for Powder of Hope Shop, do not buy your rank up stars from here. Please, do not buy your rank up stars from here. Never, 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 never do that. The only place where you want to buy your rank up stars from is from the PvP shop or the Evil Castle shop. Now, let's go. Let's bring you guys there. So, PvP shop is right here. You will see why. This is going to make a lot of sense shortly. You are going to completely uh, understand where I'm coming from. Okay, we just finished the... The, the diamond, the rank, boom. So PvP shop, you come here to the PvP, you talk to, uh, this is the mirror wars, right? Talk to uh, her under the shop. Now, you see where I'm coming from? The only thing to buy from this particular shop is the rank up stars, literally. And look how much I have. I have 79,000 of this currency just by doing, just, just do PvP, alright? Just leave it 40 times a day, just leave there running. You should be buying the right, uh, the row costume, alright? If you can buy the, the white cat round or whatever, depending every season this changes. And you should be always buying your rank up stars right here. Because everything else here is trash. Because unless you want to buy this, sure, you can buy the three star rank, three star regular contract. But you shouldn't be buying the slimes here, right? Logically. So the only thing that's super worth it to buy is ideally the, the rank up stars right here. And also, there's one more shop that you can go to. And that is the Evil Castle Shop. Evil Castle is going to be right here. And you can see, this is going to make a lot of sense. Again, uh, Evil Castle Shop and PvP Shop. These two places only have treasures. Uh, only have trash. <laughs> so that's why you only want to buy the rank up stars from here. So the ability books, right? This one has ability books. So if you ever need any ability books, which is to upgrade your abilities, you want to buy it from the Evil Castle Shop. And also buy the rank up stars from here. You wouldn't need to buy slimes. I don't think you will need to buy the three star regular uh, contract or whatever. So this is the place for you to be buying the rank up stars. Do not buy it from the Powder of Hope shop, please. All right, like like for real. The the place that you should be buying it is just right here because nothing else here is valuable. You won't be needing that many ability skill books. Uh, the slime you can farm. So this is where you are going to buy your rank up stars. If you ever need any 4 star rank up stars, 3 star rank up stars, the Evil Castle shop, the PvP shop is the place to be. Now, 
the last one, the most important, crucial mistake that I see a lot of people doing is doing the pulls on the first day. All right, this is going to be more important for you as a free to play than as a paying player because like it's not that big of a deal. Now, let me tell you guys a little bit of my experience. All right, sad, sad day. I remember this was back when, what was the character? Um, My first banner, Shirazad, codename S. All right, so I pull on day one. I get her up to plus three because I wanted her to be plus three, right? I just care about her getting her to plus three because Shirazad at plus three, she gets uh, the cost, the cost uh, increase right here. Look at this, the upgrade, right? So you notice if I go to the upgrade preview at plus two, plus three, you can see from four SP to three SP. So I pull her on day one, all right? I get her up to plus three. Guess what? Big mistake. The reason why is because this game have daily free pulls. Right? Daily free pulls is something that you get every single day. Sometimes, you can get copies of the characters or weapons even. Like look, I'm about to get lucky right there. That's look like an SR, okay. Um, you can get lucky from the daily free pulls. Which is why, if you, are, if you care about min maxing, alright, if you care about min maxing, and you're trying to like maximize the pulls that you have, you ideally want to pull the banners or maximize Look at that. What did I say? Daily free pulls in this game is actually insane. Okay, this is a weapon, folks. But, you see where I'm coming from? It could apply to a weapon banner. It could apply to a character. Okay. It is just an SR, alright? But sometimes you do get UR with that. A UR have a chance to occur as well. So keep in mind, that's going to be something that's um important. I can't believe uh, that just happened right there, right? So my point is... Look, I got a UR gear. This is for Carlson. My point is this. You shouldn't plus 5 a character on day 1. Alright, so let's say you already planned. You saw a character, let's say Diana. Right, you're trying to get her up to plus 5. You're like, okay, I'm going to plus 5 her. I'm going to buy all the gems, plus 5 her on day 1. Don't do that. Get her to plus 3 or plus 4 on day 1. And then wait until the last day. Therefore, you are going to be able to maximize your account. Because what happens if, if you get a dupe of the character after you plus 5 them? I think they just convert to, to the golden trend. And that's about it. Uh, it doesn't give you much in return. So I feel like it's uh, an utter waste, right? You could have saved the resources that way. So you want to use very, very important if you are doing pulls in this game. The game is actually very generous, all right? A lot of people keep saying that this game, you need dupes and stuff. But the truth is, if you follow this rule, if you plan everything accordingly with the daily pulls, daily free pulls and stuff, and then pull only on the last day, and also want to plan it accordingly to the Powder of Hope because the characters will be added later on in the Powder of Hope shop. So if you plan carefully, you can easily get multiple dupes of the character, uh, meta characters that you want. Uh, it's actually not that difficult, alright? You just got to follow a little bit of this rule, and hopefully by making this video, you guys are aware of that. So uh, with that being said, I hope you guys are aware of this now, alright? So because this is something that uh, I figured this mistake is something that I see. Some of these mistakes can be quite crucial to your account, especially I know some people that actually they make this one. This one is something that, that hurts me, right? They go and spend so much of their gems until they don't have enough to buy the battle pass. Please don't be that guy. Alright, so with that being said, that's going to be it for this video. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Make sure you guys turn on the notifications because I'll be having more beginner guides coming really, really soon. With that, have a nice day. Goodbye.